Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog here, and in today's CCNA 3-Minute Boot Camp, we're going to take a look at some very important Ether Channel commands and also discuss why we create them in the first place. Before we get to that on the live equipment, I want to remind you I do have a full 40-minute Mastermind webinar on this same subject, and not even I can take 40 minutes of quality instruction and you know drill it down to three minutes. So we can't hit every single detail of Ether Channels here, but when you have a little more time, please come back and watch that five-part series. It's on my YouTube channel, and also you can find all five videos on one page on my website at thebryantadvantage.com slash ccnawebinars.htm. Now when Spanning Tree Protocol does its job, and it does this job very well, preventing switching loops, we're at layer two of the OSI model. Well, STP is going to do a little something here on our trunks, the connections between two switches that will prevent switching loops, but it does have a little bit of a negative effect. Let's go ahead and bring the live equipment up, and we'll jump right in. I'll go ahead and start the clock at three minutes. Go! So here we are on switch one. And you can see that a couple of the ports here on our trunks, and here I ran show interface trunk to show you that ports 9, 10, and 11 are all trunking. Well, that's fantastic, but Spanning Tree Protocol has taken two of those ports and put it into blocking mode. This is the non-root switch of the two. If we go over to the root and run show spanning VLAN 1, we will see that all the ports are in forwarding mode but still we're only using one of the three trunks. So we're wasting the trunks between ports 10 and 11 on these two switches. So we can't physically bundle them yet, but uh, we can logically bundle these trunks by putting them into an ether channel. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna use the interface range command, and if you're not comfortable with this command, you should get comfortable before you take the NA, and in the real world it can save you a lot of time too. So it's interface range fast 09 through 11. Channel group one mode on. That's the basic command for creating your ether channel. And in that longer series of videos, I do show you some options there. But here we're gonna stick with the basics. Let's try that again. Mode on. We better stick with the basics, right? So let's take a look at, uh, well, we've got a great message right here immediately. Line protocol on interface port channel 1, change state to up. We never typed anything in about a port channel. And this confuses some people, but all the port channel is, Bulldogs, is a logical representation of the ether channel. When you do a show config, it is not going to say interface ether channel 1. Let me show you exactly what it will say. And it will say interface port channel 1. You can put an IP address on it. You'll learn about how to do that later. That's a layer 3 ether channel, but right now we're sticking with layer 2. So let's take a look, first off, at show interface trunk. And notice now where we did see three physical ports, they've been bundled into one logical one. And you can see, again, it's referred to as PO1. If we run show spanning VLAN 1, Notice that now we have one interface here and also the cost is much lower because we have a lot more bandwidth available to us and this cost is dependent on how fast the actual port is. Another great thing about this, if I lose a port in an ether channel, which I'm about to do, I don't have to wait to go through all the stages of STP. Now the cost went up a little bit because I don't have as much bandwidth, but again, that's another great benefit of ether channels. If a port goes bad inside an ether channel, then you're still in good shape. You don't have you don't lose connectivity between the two switches while you go through the listening and learning stages. What's going to happen is the cost will increase but the port is going to stay in forwarding mode. So that's great stuff there. Again, I do invite you to come out and, of course, not only visit me in our social media outlets on Twitter or on Facebook, I'm there all the time, but also to check out that longer Ether Channel Mastermind webinar here on the YouTube channel or on my website. Thanks for watching today's 3-Minute Boot Camp. I'm Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog. Enjoy your day.